Let's now talk about a new verb, a verb which is about movement. And this verb is the verb to go. The verb to go ends again in mas, and it is ikimas. Ikimas. And if you want an image for remembering that, I'm picky about where I go. So it rhymes with picky, iki, ikimas. I'm picky about where I go. So I go. Ikimas. And I will go. Ikimas. Ikimas. So again, ikimas, as all the other mass verbs, covers now and it covers the future. And if you wanted to then say, I don't go, you would say, Ikimasen. Ikimasen. And won't you go? Ikimasen ka? Ikimasen ka. And if you then want to make the suggestions, shall we go? Ikimashoka. Ikimashoka. And let's go. Ikimasho. Ikimasho. Now, if you want to talk about the place that you're going to, let's talk about some places. The capital of Japan is Tokyo. Tokyo. In Japanese, it's pronounced Tokyo. Tokyo. And the capital of England is London, which in Japanese is pronounced London. London. So, how would you say London? London. And Tokyo? Tokyo. And Mickey will say them both again. London. Tokyo. And a big city in the States is New York, which in Japanese is pronounced New York. And as well as Tokyo, London, New York, let's also look at the word for Japan. The word for Japan is Nihon. And it comes from two words. Ni is part of the word for day and also means the sun, because the sun, the rising and setting of the sun, defines the day. And then hon means a root, as in the root of a tree, but also the root of something like the source, the source of a river. So to the ancient Asian people, Japan was the root or the source of the sun, i.e. the place where the sun starts or rises. And this is why you hear Japan referred to as the land of the rising sun. So those two words together come to mean the word Japan, Nihon. Nihon. If you want to say that you go somewhere, the order is the place to go. So I go to a place in English is absolutely reversed and you have place to go. The marker for to or the word for to as in go to a place is ni. Ni. So you will say Tokyo to I go. Tokyo ni ikimas. Tokyo ni ikimas. So if you want to say I go to London, you're going to have the order London to I go. How would you do that? London ni ikimas. London ni ikimas. And if you want to go to New York, New York, how would you say? New York to I go. New York ni ikimas. New York ni ikimas. And I go to Japan. Japan being ni and hon added together. Nihon. Nihon ni ikimas. Nihon ni ikimas. And you want to ask the question, will you go to Japan? Nihon ni Ikimasen, no, ikimaska. Nihon ni ikimaska. And you're going to say, no, I'm going to New York. Iye, New York ni ikimas. Iye, New York ni ikimas. Now you want to make a suggestion. Shall we go to Japan? Nihon ni uh, ikimashou. Nihon ni ikimashou ka? And you say, no, let's go to London. Iye, London ni ikimashou. Iye, London ni ikimashou. 
we can pull in some time expressions again. The order now can be the time expression, then the place, and then ikimas. Or equally, you could say the place first with the marker ni, to. Then you can say the time expression, and then you can say ikimas. So, London ni ashita ikimas, or ashita London ni ikimas. You might find it easier simply to put the time expression at the beginning, as, as you've been accustomed to, but to make you aware that both is acceptable in Japanese, and that the sentence order with a few rules is fairly loose. So, how would you say, I go to London every day? London ni, uh, mai nichi, London ni ikimasu. Mai nichi, London ni ikimasu. And in fact, as you started with, you could do that. You could start with London ni, and then every day, and then ikimasu. London to, every day, I go. How would you say that? London ni, mai nichi, ikimasu. London ni, mai nichi, ikimasu. The important thing here is that as long as the place that you're saying has got the ni after it, then the time expression can, can come before or after it. As long as you've got your little markers in the right place, then you can change that sentence order, but you need the verb at the end. I go to London every day with him. Again, thinking about sentence order, you can say with him every day, to London I go. Or you can swap it as we did before and say, every day with him to London I go. How would you say that? I go to London with him every day. Kare to London ni mainichi ikimasu. Kare to London ni mainichi ikimasu. We can vary the sentence order here, but the markers need to be in the right place. So, how would you say, Sometimes I go to New York. Toki doki New York ni ikimasu. Toki doki New York ni ikimasu. Sometimes I go to New York with her. Kanojo to toki doki New York ni ikimasu. Kanojo to toki doki New York ni ikimasu. And bringing in the negative now. Tomorrow I'm not going to Tokyo. Ashita Tokyo ni ikimasen. Ashita Tokyo ni ikimasen. The Tokyo, although we anglicize it, say it in an English way, it has two long sounds to it. So it's Tokyo. If we wanted to extend that sentence, so tomorrow I'm not going to Tokyo, I'm going to London. Ashita Tokyo ni ikimasen. London ni ikimasu. Ashita Tokyo ni ikimasen. London ni ikimasu. And how would you say, shall we go to Japan? Nihon ni ikimashou ka. And if you then wanted to add a, a time frame to it, so shall we go to Tokyo tomorrow? Tokyo ni ashita ikimashou ka? Tokyo ni ashita ikimashou ka? And it's perfectly fine to say ashita Tokyo ni ikimashou ka. So you can do it either way. And if you wanted to say, no, let's go to New York. Ie, New York ni ikimashou ka? And it's let's go, so... Oh, ikimashou. Ie, New York ni ikimashou. And let's go to New York tonight. Konban, New York ni ikimashou. Konban, New York ni ikimashou. And with him, if we fitted in with him to that, so let's go to New York tonight with him. Kareto. Konban, New York ni ikimashou. Good. Kare to konban, New York ni ikimashou. And if we bring in our reasons for going somewhere, coming back to kara, 
So I like it, therefore, let's go to London. How would you say that? Suki desu kara London ni ikimashou. Suki desu kara London ni ikimashou. And another reason, it's interesting, therefore, let's go to Japan. Omoshiroi desu kara Nihon ni iki, ikimashou. Omoshiroi desu kara Nihon ni ikimashou. We've been using three words, this, that, and that over there. Kore, sore, are. And you'll have noticed that they form a rhyming triplet and they start with the sounds ko, so, and a. And we've also added the which word to those, dore. So the Japanese often find it useful to see those as a group that start with the sounds ko, so, a, do. Now we can then apply that same rule, ko, so, a, do, this, that, that over there, which, to a new word, which means this place. The new word ends in ko, so you can think of the final ko as meaning place. And if you wanted to say this place, you apply this ko, so, a, do rule to the word ko, meaning place. So how would you expect this place to sound? Koko. Koko. So it's the ko for this and it's the ko for place come together to make this place koko. That place then, how would you expect that to sound? Soko. That's right. So it's the so of that and the ko of place coming together. When you then move on to that place over there, you use soko and you add the a to the front of that. So, how would you expect that place over there to sound? Asoko. That's right. So, Mickey's going to say all those three for us. Koko, soko, asoko. So, this place? Koko. That place? Soko. And that place over there? Asoko. So now, instead of talking about specific places, as we have been doing, we can say, I go to this place, I go to that place. Using the same sentence order, the same little marker, ni, coming after the place. Just as we have done with Tokyo, London, New York and Japan. So how would you say, I go to this place? Koko ni ikemasu. Koko ni ikimasu. Make sure that ikimasu has an i sound. Ikimasu. That's right. And how would you say, I go to that place? Soko ni ikimasu. Soko ni ikimasu. And I go to that place over there. Asoko ni ikimasu. Asoko ni ikimasu. There's also a further meaning to soko. Soko there is also a place that neither the person speaking or the person listening can see. So if you're talking about New York when you're in London, then you would refer to New York as soko. Soko ni ikimasu. I go there. It's a place that neither of you can see. Koko, soko, asoko. This place, that place, that place over there. Also, the meanings here, there, over there are fine as well for this. So, if you were to say, I will go here, how would you say that? Koko ni ikimasu. Koko ni ikimasu. And I will go there. Soko ni ikimasu. Soko ni ikimasu. I will go here tonight. Konban koko ni ikimasu. Konban. Koko ni ikimasu. You could also put the time expression after the koko ni as well. I will go here tonight and I will go there tomorrow. Konban koko ni ikimasu. Soshi. Soshite. I will go there tomorrow. Soko 
そこに明日行きます。今晩ここに行きます。そしてそこに明日行きます。And what if you wanted to make a suggestion? Shall we go there tomorrow? How would you say that? そこに行きます。あ、そこに明日行きましょうか。そこに明日行きましょうか。And you'd answer simply, yes, let's go. はい、行きましょう。はい、行きましょう。And maybe you disagree? No, let's go tonight. いいえ、今晩行きましょう。いいえ、今晩行きましょう。The word for work is 仕事 And when you make it into a verb, I do work, how do you say it? 仕事をします。You can also see the word work, 仕事 as a destination, as a place that you go to. So you can say, I go to work. How would you say that? 仕事 Or. Now, we've been using or after the item. But with ikimas, it's a verb which has a movement in it. You go somewhere. And in Japanese, you go to somewhere. And that marker to is ni. So you drop the or and you just use ni. So I go to work. Shigoto ni ikimas. Shigoto ni ikimas. And our word order, work, to, I go. So, to is ni in Japanese. And I go to work every day would be. Mainichi shigoto ni ikimasu. Mainichi shigoto ni ikimasu. I'm not going to work tomorrow. Ashita shigoto ni The word for sleepy in Japanese is nemui. And if you want a image to remember that, I get sleepy but never moody. Nemui. Nemui. So sleepy is. Nemui. Nemui. Nemui is an adjective, it's a describing word, it describes. That you're feeling sleepy, and with describing words, we've had omoshiroi and oishi and ski, and we've put a word at the end to say it is interesting or I like it. Suki des. It is interesting would be. Omoshiroi des. So, in the same way, if you want to say I am sleepy, you are still using that same word to say it. So, des is covering. The whole of the verb to be, I am, it is, they are. So if you want to say, I am sleepy, you would say, Nemui des. Nemui des. And if you want to ask the question, are you sleepy, how would you say that? Nemui des ka? Nemui des ka? Now, if we want to bring nemui in as a reason for doing or not doing something, then we want to say, I am sleepy, therefore. How would we do that? Nemui des kara. Nemui des kara. And I'm sleepy, therefore I won't watch TV. Nemui des kara. Terebi o mimasen. Nemui des kara. Terebi o mimasen. And I'm sleepy tonight, therefore I won't watch TV. Konban, nemui des kara, mimasen, no, terebe, telebe o mimasen. Konban, nemui des kara, terebi o mimasen. And I'm sleepy tonight, so I won't go to work. How would you say that? Konban, nemui des kara, shigoto ni ikimasen. 今晩眠いですから仕事に行きません。And if you want to say I'm sleepy tonight, 
so I won't go to work tomorrow. Keeping our time expressions at the beginning of each section of that, I'm sleepy tonight, therefore tomorrow I won't go to work. How would you say that? Konban nemui des kara ashta shigoto ni ikimas. I won't go. O ikimasen. Konban nemui des kara ashta shigoto ni ikimasen. And I go to work every day. Every day I go to work. Therefore, I'm sleepy. Mainichi shigoto ni ikimas kara nemui des. Mainichi shigoto ni ikimas kara nemui des. The word in Japanese for but is ga. Ga. So you use it in the same way as you would English. You say the first part of the sentence, the ga in the middle, and then the second part. If you want to pause a little bit, say the ga and then pause. So if we had two parts of a sentence which we're going to contrast, I go to Tokyo every day. How would you say that? Mainichi Tokyo ni ikimasu. Mainichi Tokyo ni ikimasu. Tomorrow I will go to New York. Ashita New York ni ikimasu. Ashita New York ni ikimasu. To link those two sentences together, you can put ga in the middle. So you'd be saying, I go to Tokyo every day, but tomorrow I'll go to New York. When you contrast two pieces of information in this way, you need to highlight the contrast. So the first part of the sentence would be, Mainichi Tokyo ni ikimasu ga, but Ashita wa New York ni ikimasu. This wa will come up again later on, but this wa used here is a contrast. It shows you that I do something every day, but tomorrow I'm doing something different. Now in English, we would put the emphasis on the tomorrow. It would be like underlining it if we were reading it in text, or we would just put an emphasis on it. But tomorrow, I'm going to New York. The wa takes on that role. You can almost think of a wa as being a highlighter pen that's highlighting the tomorrow. It's following the tomorrow and highlighting it, saying, I do this every day, but tomorrow, I'm going to do this. So when you put the wa in, you're making it clear that you're contrasting what you normally do, if you like, with what you're going to do tomorrow or whichever time expression it happens to be. It could be tonight, tomorrow, but it takes a while after it. So, how would you say, every day I go to Tokyo, but... Mainichi Tokyo ni ikimasu ga? Mainichi Tokyo ni ikimasu ga? Tomorrow, I'm going to New York, and I've highlighted that with my wa. Tomorrow, wa, I'll go to New York. Ashita wa New York ni ikimasu. Ashita wa New York ni ikimasu. So, every day I go to Tokyo, but tomorrow I'll go to New York. Mainichi Tokyo ni ikimasu ga? Ashita wa New York ni ikimasu. Mainichi Tokyo ni ikimasu ga? Make sure that you're distinguishing between ka, which is your spoken question mark, and ga, which is the but. How would you say, I go to work every day, but I'm not going tomorrow? Now you're going to be saying, I go to work every day, but, and then tomorrow I'm not going. So you're highlighting tomorrow by following it with wa. So, I go to work every day, but... Mainichi shigoto ni ikimasu ga? I'm not going tomorrow. Ashita wa ikimasu? Not. O ikimasen. Good. Mainichi shigoto ni ikimasu ga? 
Let's just take that one step further. Let's say, I go to work every day, but because I'm tired, I'm not going tomorrow. Now we need to break that one down. So, I go to work every day, but. I'm tired, therefore. Ne, ne deskara. I'm not going tomorrow. Tomorrow. Ashita wa ikimasen. Mainichi shigoto ni ikimasu ga nemui desu kara. Ashita wa ikimasen. Nemui desu means sleepy, but in English it can also take on that meaning of tired as well. Now, I go to work every day, but I'm tired, therefore I'm relaxing tomorrow. We came across this word relax, which is an English word slightly elongated to fit Japanese pronunciation. Relaxu oshimas. So I go to work every day, but. Mainichi shigoto ikimas. I go to work. Oh, yes. Mainichi. Shigoto ni ikimasu ka? I'm sleepy, therefore... Nemui desu kara? I am relaxing tomorrow. Tomorrow... Ashita, ashita wa? I'm relaxing. Relaxu o oshimasu. Mainichi shigoto ni ikimasu ga. We've been using the words kare, he, kanojo, she, and we use them with to. So kare to with him, kanojo to with her. So we discuss the fact that it's he and she or him and her depending on what's following it. So if you were to say I will go with her, how would you say that? Kanojo to ikimasu. Kanojo to ikimasu. I will go to work with her. Kanejo to shigoto ni ikimasu. And your kanojo. Just give it, make sure the kano, kanojo. Kanojo to shigoto ni ikimasu. That's right. Kanojo to. Shigoto ni ikimasu. And if you wanted to make a suggestion, shall we go to work with him? With him. Kare to shigoto ni ikimasu ka? Ikimashou ka? Kare to shigoto ni ikimashou ka? Now let's talk about wa. We've used wa when we were contrasting the a but sentence. Every day I do this, but tomorrow, and we use this after ashta ashta wa as a kind of highlighter. As well as this, wa flags up the person that does an action in a sentence. So so far we've talked about the item. We've talked about kohi or nomimas. I drink coffee. We haven't said I, she, or he. Because we've also pointed out that in Japanese, that doesn't need to be said unless you need to make it clear who is doing the action. So in situations where you do make, need to make it clear who's doing the action, that is flagged up with this marker, wa. We now know two words, she and he, that we can use in a sentence. If we want to make it clear and say he or she, we would say kare wa, and the wa is telling us who is doing the action, or in some cases, what is doing the action. So if we wanted to say he eats, how would you say that? Kare wa tabemasu. Kare wa tabemasu. And she eats. Kanajo. And then our marker. Oh, kanajo wa. Eats. Tabemasu. Kanojo wa tabemasu. 
And how would you say he goes? Kare wa ikimasu. Kare wa ikimasu. And she goes. Kanejo wa ikimasu. Kanojo wa ikimasu. We don't have to say he and she, except if we need to make it clear. Where we need to make it clear, then he, she will be followed by wa. It flags up and it tells us that this is the person doing the action. So if you wanted to say he goes to Japan and make it clear that he goes to Japan, how would you say it? Kare wa nihon ni ikimasu. Kare wa nihon ni ikimasu. And she goes to London. Kanejo wa London ni ikimasu. Kanojo wa London ni ikimasu. With the time expression and the person who's doing the action, you can either say the time expression first. So you can say ashita kare wa tomorrow he, or you can say he tomorrow kare wa ashita. So it's interchangeable. How would you say he goes to work tomorrow? Ashita kare wa shigoto ni ikimasu. Ashita kare wa shigoto ni ikimasu. And he goes to work every day. Mainichi kare wa shigoto ni ikimasu. Mainichi kare wa shigoto ni ikimasu. And if we pull in our reasons now, he's sleepy, so he's not going to work tonight. Now, when you say this, once you've established the he, the karewa, you don't need to say it again. So you're only going to be saying it once at the beginning of the sentence. So he's tired, so he's not going to work tonight. Karewa nemui desu kara. Konban. Shigoto ni ikimasen. Kare wa nemui desu kara. Konban shigoto ni ikimasen. So unlike English where we say he, she all the time, in Japanese we only need to say it to clarify who's doing the action. Once we know who's doing the action, we don't need to carry on saying it. So how would you say she's sleepy, so she's watching TV? Tonight. Konojo wa nemu nemuides kara konban telebi o mimas. Kanojo wa nemuides kara konban telebi o mimas. We've looked at the words for here, there, over there. The word for here is koko. And there, soko. And over there, asoko. There's a fourth word in this group. It's the word for where. Following on from the pattern that you know with this, that, that over there, and which, what do you expect where to be? Doko. Doko. And when you use doko, where, you still need the little marker ni. So where to do you go? Like the old English whither do you go? Where to? So if you were to say where to do you go? How would you say that? Doko ni ikimasu ka? Ikimasu ka? Doko ni ikimasu ka? And you were to then answer I'm going to London. All you're doing is taking the doko out Putting the London in. So how would you say I'm going to London? London ni ikimasu. London ni ikimasu. And if you wanted to ask where is she going and you want to clarify who she is, first of all say she and then your question where going to. Where to going. So she, where to going. Kanojo wa doko ni ikimasu ka? Kanojo wa doko ni ikimasu ka? And again, you're using the wa because you're showing 
who is doing the action. Kanojo wa. And if you wanted to say, where is he going? Kare wa doko ni ikimasu? Ikimasu ka? Kare wa doko ni ikimasu ka? And if you then wanted to say, she is going here. So you want to say the word she. She is going here. Kanojo wa koko ni ikimasu. Kanojo wa koko ni ikimasu. And he is going there. Kare wa soko ni ikimasu. Ikimasu. Yeah. Kare wa soko ni ikimasu. So the word for where is doko. How would you say where is it? Doko desu ka? Doko desu ka? So you can attach doko with des, put a cat at the end, and you've got the question. Doko desu ka? We've been looking at mass verbs and looking at ways that you can manipulate them and change them. You can take off a mass and add something. You can take off mass and say masen ka? Won't you? Or masho? Let's? Or mashoka? Shall we? We're now going to add another ending. This ending is tai des. Tai des. Tai des is a verb ending that gives the meaning I want. It literally means want is. Tai des. And to use it, you take off the mass and you replace it with tai des. It's not something you can use by itself. You need to attach it to a verb. So if you want to say, I want to eat, how would you do that? Taking off the mass and adding tai des. I want to eat. Tabe tai des. Tabe tai des. And if you wanted to say, I want to drink. Nomi tai des. Nomi tai des. And I want to read. Yomi tai des. Yomi tai des. And if you want to then add the item, you keep everything in the same order as you've done all along. So if you wanted to say, I want to play tennis. Tennisu wo shitai des. Tennisu wo shitai des. I want to eat this. Kore tabetai des. And you need your little marker. Kore o tabetai des. Kore o tabetai des. I want to drink that. Sore o nomitai des. Sore o nomitai des. And then we can bring in our time expressions at the beginning. This evening, I want to watch TV. Konban terebi o mimatai des. Mi mas, mi. Don't you drop the mas? That's right. So take off the mas, and what do you have? O mi tai des. Yes. Konban terebi o mi tai des. Tomorrow I want to go to Tokyo. Ashita Tokyo ni ikitai des. Ashita Tokyo ni ikitai des. You can also ask questions. Tai des is talking about things that I want to do. You can't make assumptions in Japanese about things that other people want to do. So you can't say he wants to do. For the Japanese, that's deciding that you know what somebody wants and you don't. So you use tai des for yourself, I want to do. But you can also ask questions, do you want to do? So you can speak to the second person, you. So you could say, how would you say? What do you want to drink? Um, Think of a nanny who looks after children. Nanny o nomi tai desu ka? Nani o nomi tai desu ka? And what do you want to buy? Nani o kai tai desu ka? Nani o kai tai desu ka? What do you want to do? Nani o shi desu ka? Shitai desu ka? Good. Nani o shitai desu ka? And we can also bring in our question word which. It was one of the group kore, sore, are. And what is which? 
Dore. Dore. So, which do you want to buy? Dore o kaitai desu ka? Dore o kaitai desu ka? And which do you want to drink? Dore o nomitai desu ka? Dore o nomitai desu ka? And our question word where, which is part of our group, koko, soko, asoko, and doko. So, where do you want to go? Doko ni ikitai desu ka? Doko ni ikitai desu ka? Let's bring in kara when we give reasons. So, I want to drink beer, therefore. Biru o nomitai desu kara. Biru o nomitai desu kara. I want to drink beer, therefore, let's go to a hotel. The word for hotel is from the English, hoteru. So, I want to drink beer, therefore, let's go to a hotel. Biru o nomitai desu kara. Hotelu o ikitai desu. You're going to the hotel, so rather than o, which marker would you use? Oh, ni. Ni. And when we say let's, we take off the mass, replace it with masho. Hotel ni ikimasho. Hotelu. Hotelu. Biru o nomitai desu kara. Hotelu ni ikimasho. Yes, let's. Hai, ikimasho. Hai, ikimasho. Yes, certainly. We talked about Zen certainly heals. Hai, zehi. Hai, zehi. We've looked at the word why, doshite, and now let's ask that question. Why do you want to go to a hotel? Doshite hotelu ni ikitai desu ka? Doshite hotelu ni ikitai desu ka? And you want to give your reason because I want to drink beer. Kara? Oh no, that comes at the end. Good. So I want to drink beer, therefore. Biru o no, nomi desu ka? I want nomi nomitai desu because kara. Biru o nomitai desu kara. Or another reason, because I'm tired, because I'm sleepy. Nemui desu kara. Nemui desu kara. Let's bring back in our words for here, there, and over there. Here was. Koko. There. Soko. And over there. Asoko. Right. So now you want to ask the question, why do you want to go there? Dore. Dore is which. Okay. And why is... Doshite. Doshite. Asoko. Ni. Um want to go. Ikitai desu. And a question? Ka. Good. And when you say asoko, you're actually saying why do you want to go over there, which is a correct sentence. But if you wanted to say why do you want to go there? It's just um, soko. Soko. Doshite soko ni ikitai desu ka? Doshite soko ni ikitai desu ka? And you give your reason, because I want to watch a film. Eiga o mitai desu kara. Eiga o mitai desu kara. Let's look at the word where, the question word where, which is... Doko. Doko. So, the question, where are you going? Where to are you going? Doko ni ikimasu ka? Doko ni ikimasu ka? I'm going to Tokyo. Tokyo ni ikimasu. Tokyo ni ikimasu. And why are you going to Tokyo? Why Tokyo to are you going? Doshite 
東京に行きますかどうして東京に行きますか In Japan, you get lots and lots of department stores. There's a very famous one called Mitsukoshi. And the word for department store in Japanese is a shortened version of our word. The word is departo. So, the word for department store? Departo. Departo. And if you want to talk about Mitsukoshi, Mitsukoshi departo. So, We've asked the question, why are you going to Tokyo? Because I want to go to Mitsukoshi department store. Mitsukoshi departo ni ikitai desu kara. Mitsukoshi departo ni ikitai desu kara. Where are you going tomorrow? Tomorrow, where are you going? Konban? Tomorrow, the ash in the top. Oh, oh, yes. Ashita? Doko ni ikimasu ka? Ashita doko ni ikimasu ka? I'm going to New York. New York ni ikimasu. New York ni ikimasu. Why are you going there? Soko, no, why first? Yeah. Doshite soko ni ikitai desu ka? That is it. A correct sentence which is saying why do you want to go there? But if you just wanted to say why are you going there? Doshite soko ni ikimasu ka? Doshite soko ni ikimasu ka? Because I want to work. Shigoto o shitai desu kara? Shigoto o shitai desu kara? Where are you going? どこに行きますかどこに行きますか ?I'm going to Japan. 日本に行きます。And with the 日本 with the ho sound, make it very pure. So, 日本。日本に行きます。日本に行きます。Why are you going there? どうしてそこに行きますかどうしてそこに行きますか Because I want to drink delicious sake. Sake is the Japanese rice wine. And you get a huge variety of it in Japan. And you get lots of different grades of sake and some very, very delicious sake you can drink there. So, because I want to drink delicious sake. Nomitai desu. And... How would you bring in the sake? Your item? Oh, the item first. Good. Sake ni. With sake, the marker. Oh, it's o. Good. Sake o. Oh, should I have said oshi sake? That's right. Yeah. So you put the delicious before the sake. Oshi sake. And with delicious oishi. Oishi sake o nomitai desu kara. Good. おいしい酒を飲みたいですから。We've learnt the verb to buy. The verb to buy is... 買います。買います。And I want to buy a comic book. How would you say that? 漫画を買いたいです。漫画を買いたいです。Because I want to buy a comic book, I'm going to the department store. How would you say that? Um, a comic book to buy because, and Good. then that's right. So I don't put the because first. No, you don't. So, whereas in English we can say because first, we've been learning that in Japanese you say, "I want to buy a comic book, therefore." So, because I want to buy a comic book, manga or kaimas kara, and because I want to buy a comic book, oh, manga or Kaitai desu kara. I'm going to the department store. Departo ni ikimasu. Good. Manga o kaitai desu kara. Departo ni ikimasu. And because I want to buy a camera, shall we go to the department store? Camera o kaitai desu kara. 
デパートに行きましょうか。カメラを買いたいですから、デパートに行きましょうか。Tomorrow, I want to eat sushi, so shall we go to a hotel? 明日、寿司をた食べたいですから、Um, shall we go to a hotel? Hotel ni ikimashoka. Good. And hotelu, hotelu. Hotelu ni ikimashoka. Ashita sushi o tabetai desu kara hotelu ni ikimashoka. One of our recent verbs, shimas. We learnt had two meanings. Do as in do work and play as in play sports. It can also have the meaning make. For example, make a phone call. The word for phone in Japanese is denwa. Think about dentists having white phones. Denwa. Dentists, white phones. Denwa. So how would you say phone? Denwa. Denwa. And How would you say make a phone call? Now, you, in English, we add the word call, but in Japanese, you're literally saying make a phone or do a phone. How would you say that in Japanese? Denwa o shimas. Denwa o shimas. So, I make a phone call would be. Denwa o shimas. Denwa o shimas. He makes a phone call when you want to make it clear who he is. Kare wa denwa o shimas. Kare wa denwa o shimas. And I make a phone call with her. Kanojo to wa. No, you're right, to, because it's with her. Kanojo to denwa o shimas. Kanojo to. Denwa o shimas. And it's kanojo to. We don't need a wa because she isn't the person, the main person doing the action. So it's kanojo to. It's with her. So I make a phone call with her. Kanojo to. Denwa o shimas. We use kare wa because kare, he, is the person making the phone call. And we're making it clear that it's he who is making the phone call. So we're saying he. We don't always have to say he in Japanese, but in this case we want to make it clear. And when we want to make it clear, we use kare and we put wa to flag up who it is that's doing the action. But when we say with her or with him, we're using a different marker. We say kare to, kanajo to. And in those cases, they're not the people doing the action, so we don't need wa. We've used the marker ni after a place. Rondon ni to London, Tokyo ni to Tokyo. Ni also can be used to mean to a person. So we can make a phone call to a person. If I make a phone call to her, I would say kanajo ni. And I would put to her before the verb. So I'd put to her phone call I make. So I make a phone call to her. Would be. Kanojo ni denwa o shimas. Kanojo ni denwa o shimas. And I make a phone call to him. Kare ni denwa o shimas. Kare ni denwa o shimas. And kare kanojo means he, she, or if it has ni after it or to after it, he and she change to him. And her. And if we bring in our masho, let's, let's make a phone call to her. Kanojo ni denwa o shimasho. Kanojo ni denwa o shimasho. And if we want to make a suggestion, shall we? Shall we make a phone call to him? Kare to ni. And no. We're making a phone call to him,、oh, not with him. Kare. And the The marker, the ni marker, will always come after the object or the item or the person that it's talking about. So, him to. 
So it's kareto ni. And we don't need to because we're not saying with him, we're saying to him. It's, it's, it's kareto is with him, kareni is to him. Shall we make a phone call to him? Kareni denwa o shimashou. Ka. Ka. Kareni denwa o shimashou ka. And if you want to bring in your time expression, you can bring that in at the beginning. So if you want to say, shall we make a phone call to him tonight? You can say tonight to him, phone call shall we make, or to him tonight, phone call shall we make. So shall we make a phone call to him tonight? Konban kare ni denwa o shimashou ka? Konban kare ni. And let's make a phone call to him tonight. Konban kare ni denwa o shimashou. Konban kare ni denwa o shimashou. And if we bring in the negative, the negative of mas is masen. So. I don't or I won't, depending on whether it's now or the future. So if we say, I don't make a phone call, how would we say that? Denwa o shimasen. Denwa o shimasen. And I won't make a phone call to him. Kare ni denwa o shimasen. Kare ni denwa o shimasen. I won't make a phone call to him tonight. Konban kare ni denwa o shimasen. Konban kare ni denwa o shimasen. We can bring in our reasons as well. We had the reason I'm sleepy, which is nemui des. Nemui des. So perhaps we want to say because I'm sleepy. I, I won't phone her tonight. How would we do that? Nemui desu kara kanojo wa Sorry, kanojo ni Good. denwa o shimasen. If you'd said kanojo wa, then it's she who's making the phone call. By saying kanojo ni, you're saying I'll phone to her. Nemui desu kara kanojo ni denwa o shimasen. In English, we can say our reason in two ways. We can say, because I'm sleepy, I won't phone her tonight. And we can say, I'm sleepy, therefore I won't phone her tonight. But each time in Japanese, the reason is said first, then kara, and then the result. I want to phone him. How would you say I want to phone him? Kare to? And I want to phone to him. Kare ni denwa o shimas. And I want to phone him. Kare ni denwa o shitai desu. Kare ni denwa o shitai desu. We've used the word but, ga. You can use that now to, to say why you're not doing something. I want to phone him, but I'm sleepy. When we do the but, phrases, we can think of two parts to the sentence with the but in the middle. So, I want to phone him but, is your first part, I'm sleepy. Right, so it's him, phone, I want. That's right. Him, to, him to phone, phone I, want. I want, but. but. Kare ni denwa o uh, shitai desu. Ga, is that but? Good. Ga. I'm sleepy. Nem, um, nemui, nem, nemui desu. Yeah. I want to phone him, but I'm sleepy, so I won't phone him tonight. Kare ni denwa o shitai desu ga nemui desu kara konban kare ni Denwa o shimasen. Kare ni denwa o shitai desu ga 
、眠いですから、今晩、彼に、電話をしません。And with 彼に、you've said it at the beginning, you've said,、um, I want to phone him. 彼に、電話をしたいですか So you don't need to say, 彼に、In the second phrase, it's okay if you do. So, konban kare ni demo o shimasen, but you don't need to repeat it once it's established who it is you're phoning to. And the simple question: Will you phone her tonight? Can no Johnny demo? And if you want to get tonight in, can no Johnny? Oh, so. So I could put that first. Yeah. Con ban, can or Johnny, denwa, or shimas. And it's a question. Good. Con ban, can or Johnny, denwa o shimas ka? No, because I'm sleepy. Iye, nemui desu kara. When you say no, make sure it's a long e. Iye. Iye. And bringing in the question word why, the question word why is. Doshte. Doshte. How would you say, why won't you phone him tonight? Doshte. Kareni. Denwa. O. No, I need to put konban right at the beginning. You can be quite flexible with the sentence order as long、okay. as you've got the verb coming at the end. Right. Demwa or shimasenka. As long as you've got that verb coming at the end,、mm. then you can say the time expression, the question word, and the to him in any order. Can go in any order. So, however it comes out, as you say it, is fine as long as you've got demwa or shimasenka at the end. So, why won't you phone him tonight? Doshte konban kareni denwa o shimasen ka. Doshte konban kareni denwa o shimasen ka. Because I'm going to work. Shigoto ni ikimas kara. Shigoto ni ikimas 